Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to AFL Tips. So I got five this week. I kind of aim for sevens, so uh, you know anything less is just like ah, not very good. That is it. It's more than half, at least. It's more than half. It's frustrating because I did so well last year. I did so. Well. I was second in the comp. I was doing elite. I got most of the games right. This year, it's been an absolute disaster. Although it was good in the middle of the season, but now it's gone really bad again. But yeah, our top is Justin E on 109, followed by Patrick, Max, Ali, Tui. Well, you know, there we go. 106 is quite a few as well. I think we've got a couple more people who've joined. I can't remember what it was last week, to be fair, but it's almost 200 now, I think. Yeah, five more people. Come on, lads. We can do this. And ladies, sorry, I don't discriminate. All genders. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, there is the comp. If you want to join the comp, the link is in description, or the code is LN46WXWD. But this link should be in the top line description. If it's not, let me know. I'll put it in there. But it should be in there. Anyway, yeah, um, I got the first three games wrong. A very disastrous start. I am not surprised by this. Geelong obviously have been elite this year. Um, apart from the first few rounds. Since then, they've really improved and they've smashed it. Um, I did not expect the scoreline, though. I'm not surprised that Geelong won, but I am surprised it was by that margin. That was crazy. 69 whole points, the margin I predicted way off. I thought Frio could, could do it. That's why I tipped them. I thought it was possible at Optus. You know, they're doing okay. Chance of the finals. Maybe they win this game. They did not. I kind of uh, went with a good, well, a good omen, sort of, because two years, I think it was two years ago, Geelong were first, and Frio beat them, and I tipped them, and I got it right, even though it's extremely unlikely. After that, I thought it could lightning could strike twice. No, it didn't. It, it just didn't. Uh, Richmond Brisbane, um, not surprised, but also surprised, considering how Richmond season has gone. I am surprised. Then again, this season even though they're not playing very well. Whenever they fall out the eight and they and it looks like they're in serious danger of not making the finals, they always get a win to get back in the mix. They always do that. So uh, I'm not surprised they won, but I'm also a bit surprised they did. But yeah, it is what it is. They won the game, fair play to them. Um, I wanted Brisbane to win, but yeah, I tipped Brisbane, I thought they'd do it. They did not, so we move on. This one, a bit of a risk, I guess, but Saints did win a couple of games recently. They looked good in those games. I thought they could beat Port Adelaide at Marvel. I was wrong. A very good win for Port Adelaide there. So yeah, there we go. Got three right here, Western Bulldogs, Melbourne. These are two teams you can rely on most weeks. Uh, Essendon against North Melbourne as well, you know. Most weeks against North Melbourne, you're good. But obviously they are improving. So, uh, so yeah, still, uh, you know. Usually, when you tip against North Melbourne this season, you, you tend to get it right. I got Carlton Collingwood wrong. I thought Collingwood would win the game. I was wrong. Fair play to Carlton. They smashed it. Uh, Adelaide West Coast, I got correct. Predicted West Coast. And uh, Sydney, I predicted them correct against UWS. And I predicted Sydney because they're having a better season, pretty much. But uh, yeah, that certainly paid off. So uh, there we go. This ladder is very interesting. <laughs> 32, 32, 32, 32, 30, 28. <laughs> Even West Coast could drop out as well. They're on 36. This whole bracket from 7th to 12th. No, 7th to 13th, sorry. Any one of those teams could be in his, Any two of those teams could be in the 8th. This is going to be a very interesting last few rounds. You know what I'm happy about? Collingwood won't make it. So uh, when the finals do come around, I'm just going to be like, well, I hope Geelong lose. That's about it. Made the best team win. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, it's a very interesting ladder, that's for sure. Moving on to my actual tips. That's what you're obviously here for. So let's actually do that. We've been sat here almost five minutes. Come on, David. Port Adelaide v Collingwood. Surely Port Adelaide won't let me down this time. I feel like I've tipped them a few times and they lost. Um, but this time, against 15th place, they should win. I'm going to say 18 points, but 
it could be closer than we think. We shall see. Sydney v Fremantle at GMHBA. Well, regardless, to be honest, regardless of stadium, Sydney, I think, you know, they're having a good season. Had an amazing start. Dropped off a bit, but still, they're still solid. Uh, they're still firing. Um, Frio, very up and down, as usual. That's, that's what Frio do. They like to be up and down. Um, and they just got smashed at home. So confidence, I don't think, will be very high. So, Sydney. <laughs> I, I, well, I, didn't, I didn't think about it that much. It took me so long to tip that, but it was, yeah, it's an obvious tip for me. Uh, Hawthorne, unfortunately, I think will lose to Brisbane. Although Brisbane are a team that I like, but I don't want them to beat Hawthorne, but I think they will, unfortunately. Essendon v GWS. Ooh. Reckon the Giants could do something. But I'll tip Essendon. Gold Coast will lose to Melbourne. West Coast Eagles surely should beat St Kilda, but they're not as reliable at Optus as they used to be, so uh, I wouldn't be too sure. North Melbourne won up there, didn't they? Um... I'll stick a West Coast. I'll stick a West Coast. Yeah, Western Borders will be Adelaide. Geelong against Richmond. They could put the nail in the coffin for Richmond here. Yeah? Well, kind of. Uh, I'll go for Geelong. And Carlton to beat North. You see, the problem here is I've gone for all favourites. And this doesn't normally work out. There are some weeks where it does. But it's maybe like one week in a whole season. Maybe this is that round, but um, you know what? I don't want to change anything. You see, I wouldn't change this. I wouldn't change this. I wouldn't change this. Maybe, but no. I wouldn't change that. I wouldn't actually maybe. Maybe considering the games they've lost at Optus. Wouldn't change that. Wouldn't change that. This one, maybe, possibly, because Richmond keep pulling off these unexpected victories. But Geelong surely are too strong. Surely. Surely. <laughs> surely. Surely not. Um, yeah, Geelong. This time Geelong will have him at the MCG. Yeah. You know what? I'm not changing anything, but I feel like I should, take, I should change something. I'd be leaning towards the Giants or the Saints, but I think I'll stick with this. I think I should get seven, though. Realistically, I should, I should get seven, but we'll see. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share. Actually, wait, you know what? Before we go, as I usually do, super coach, but also, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, Eliza's on a mad one. 115 tips, 6.4 average. I don't know how they do it, man. I really, I really don't know how they do it. <laughs> it's mad how, how good you... Like, predictions. It's about knowledge, but it's also partly luck as well. Like, to be that good is insane. Absolutely insane. So, well, yeah, super coach. Top 58%. Not as high as usual, percentage-wise. But I did win my uh, public league match. You can't join that league, but you can join this one. My private league. Uh... You go and create join group. It's not supposed to refresh. Anyway, create join group, enter your six digit code 632240. You access that by clicking here and then leagues. Well, clicking here, then you click classic. It opens up then leagues. Um, then you can type in the code or the link should be also in description below the tipping league link if you want to join. This is my team. I followed some tips that uh that a subscriber told me about, uh, told me a few things to do uh, trade-wise and uh, substitution-wise and captain-wise, and I followed those tips and uh, it's paid off, okay? Um, I think there's one thing I didn't follow, but most of the tips I did follow. And uh, yeah, I bought the Goey in. He's one of the players I brought in. Uh, yeah, in one emergency player got 64. Should have played Polter, I guess, to get a bit more points. Everything else is DNPs. But I got some salary left, and I got plenty of trades. You know, there's a lot of trades for the rounds we have left, so uh, be sure to let me know if I should bring anyone in. 
Um, honestly, looking at the team, it's pretty good. There's a lot of talent there. A lot of talent. But the bench is looking very weak. <laughs> we, might, we might need some stronger emergencies. So uh, let me know who plays regularly and doesn't cost too much more than uh, these players. Oh yeah, Whitfield, well Whitfield is out. He would be in the team usually. So that's an exception, I guess. But apart from that, you know, we might need some improvements here. But still, you know, even in the rucks, you got these two here, you know. We don't really need a top ruck here either. But still, you know, let me know. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>